see you there um oh this is a little embarrassing anyway hi it's your pal Sean teacher your art pal is here today to teach you how to make a little kids airplane that's right a little kids airplane I got the idea from watching the Korean animation Portero and Portero has his own little airplane that he flies around in with his buddy Krong. So, today, we're going to draw a little kid's airplane. Are you ready? I am. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I think the first thing I want to say, and I say this a lot, but when you start drawing your airplane today, Try not to draw tiny, tiny. Try to make a big drawing. Fill up your paper. It's extremely important. Okay, so the way we're gonna start with our little, I'm gonna use a pen. I'm gonna use a pen. You should use a pencil. I use the pen so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. If I used a pencil, it doesn't show up on the camera really well. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we're going to start by making the tail section of our airplane. And I think our airplane looked like a P-51 Mustang. But that's going to be kind of part of the tail section there. And we're going to make it come up like that. And do a number like that. Now that's going to be the rudder. And we'll draw it down like that. You doing okay? Yeah? And then make a line something like this. Now these are going to be the flaps. And It just make it come out like that. And like that. Did you do it? Then I'm gonna make a little line like this. That's the rudder. And I'm gonna make a little line like this. And that's one of the flaps. You doing good? Now we can make sort of the bottom come up. And Portillo's airplane is pretty round, so we're gonna make kind of a rounded bottom there. Like that. Good morning, everyone. So now we can kind of imagine that this other, this is really called an aileron, very fancy name, but it comes out like that, right? So we can kind of imagine it going through the side of the airplane and coming out on the other side. Something like that. And then that, and then that. So now it has a tail, right? And we can even put part of the flap there. Yeah. Now we'll use that sort of same thing in a minute. So now, I'm gonna kind of make what's called the cockpit. And we can kind of see down in it. See, it's kind of like a hole. And I can make that look more convincing by doing something like this. It kind of shows the inside. And I could do something like this and it would be like one of the seats. And another seat would be here. And then there's the little stick that they used to fly with. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, we should make the wing. 
we can kind of do something like that. And that shows kind of the shape of the wing. And we kind of see this line going back like this, so we kind of want the same thing here. We kind of want to go back like that and make a shape like that. And we'll come out here and connect it. And kind of the same way I showed you here, we have to kind of imagine the other side of the wing going here. So we're going to draw this part. Like that. And then the bottom of the other part, like that. So now all we have to do is make the other wing. So we're going to kind of, see how it kind of sweeps back? We're going to kind of sweep back that way. So it's going to kind of do a number like that. And then it comes back. Need to make that a little longer, don't I? Yeah, that's not so bad. Now, we're kind of going to make the engine. And his aircraft, Portal's aircraft, has two exhaust ports right here. So we're going to put two there. And this isn't exactly, Portal's is actually a little shorter. I don't want to be just like him. But that's like the exhaust ports. And then we do something like that. And then we do something like this. Now that's going to be the propeller. But the problem we have is that the. Have you ever looked at a fan? A fan kind of uh, moves around so fast that you can't see the blades unless it's turned off. And airplane propellers are the same way. So we kind of want to make a circle. Of, it's really called an ellipse. But we want to make something that looks something like this. And then we're going to put some little, because these are going to be the propeller blades, and they're moving very fast, so you can't really see them. It's kind of like a fan. So yeah, wow, it's going really fast, right? And we're going to put some flaps on our wings. And one other thing we could do to make it look a little cooler is to give it a glass bubble. Like that. That makes it so they can sit in there and not get the wind in their eyes. Yeah. It's all right. So, there it is. A little kid's airplane. I'm not suggesting you little kids go out and fly some airplanes today. Unless you know how. But, there's an airplane. Why don't we color it? I think so. Let's color it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start by making some of the small parts yellow. Yeah, some of these things can be yellow. And really, when I use red, yellow, and blue. What am I really using? Does anyone know? Have those colors red, yellow, and blue, do they sound familiar to you? That's because they are called the primary colors. And the primary colors are the three colors that we get from the sun, basically, that all light is made from those three colors. We can find those three colors when we put normal sunlight through something called a prism. 
when it comes out of the prism, you know what? You get red, yellow, and blue. And you can see that somewhat when you see a rainbow. Rainbows in the sky. Ooh, the yellow looks nice. I've got to decide, do I want a red body and blue wings or a blue body and red wings? What do you think? What would you do? Oh, I think I hear some of you answering. I think maybe I'm going to make, oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll let it be a surprise. <laughs> Wait, I'll be right back. I decided to go <clears throat> with blue wings and a red body. I thought that would be a good idea. I love to color. I know I've spoken about it before, but you can really tell when your drawings are coming together when you color them. Like, wow, look at that color. You can use anything to color these. You can use crayons or coloring pencils. Yeah, that's looking okay. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to keep painting the wings. And just like that, our little kid's aircraft made for little kids to fly around in the sky. Just like that, our little kid's aircraft is done. There it is, a little kid's aircraft. Now, could you paint or color, I should say, should you color the wings red and the body blue? Sure you could. What about the sky? What could you put in the sky? Could you put clouds or birds? Sure. You could put other airplanes if you wanted to. So, wow, we did it. Thanks a lot. You did a good job. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.